Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you are today. It is pretty nice and sunny here in mid-Minnesota. I am in the Twin Cities, Minnesota, USA. It's going to be about 50 degrees today and then 60 tomorrow and then 65 and then 70. So we are looking at some warmer temps. Excuse me, I got the printer going. Um, you know, I'm here to give you a message of hope, of inspiration, of encouragement to do the right thing today, to stand your ground. This recovery thing can be hard at times. Staying sober isn't easy. It's not for the faint of heart. It's for people who want to stay committed and dedicated to uh, a program, to a formula, to a principle that's going to allow us success, abstinence, not only from drugs and alcohol, but from the, some of the things, uh, our bad ways, our stinking thinking, some of the things that we used to do to get ourselves in so much trouble down in the muck and the mire. And you know, if it wasn't for alcohol, uh, it would have been something else, trust me. But since it is alcohol that really drugs, alcohol that brought us down, let's learn about how we can stay away from that and how we can learn to uh, stay abstinent from some of that stuff. So today, February 29th, it's a leap, it's a leap day, it's a leap year today. So today we should be free from alcohol for good. It's out of our hands and in the hands of God. So we don't need to worry about it or even think about it anymore. If we haven't done this honestly and fully, the chances are that it will become our problem once again. You see, since we don't trust God to take care of the problem for us, we reach out and we take the problem back to ourselves. I just spoke about this yesterday. And then it's our problem once again. And we're in the same old mess we were in before. You see, we're helpless and then we drink. We're helpless, then we drink. We drink when we're helpless. We're helpless when we drink. It's a vicious cycle. Do I trust God to take care of the problem for me? Amen. Or however you see it, me, I trust in God that he's going to get me through today. And one day at a time is how we take this. So today, the meditation is this. No work is of value without preparation. Every spiritual work must have work behind it that is called spiritual preparation. So cut short times of prayer and times of spiritual preparation, and many hours of work will be profitless. So from the point of view of God, one poor tool working all the time, but doing bad work because of lack of preparation is of small value compared to the sharp, keen, perfect instrument working only for a short time that turns out perfect work because of long hours of spiritual preparation. And that spiritual preparation comes with spiritual maturity and growth, right? And that comes in time too, a lot of practice. I pray today that I may spend more time alone with God and I pray that I may get more strength and joy from such time so that they will work and add much more to my work, to our recovery. So I got the dog going in the other room. I think I'm going to have to cut this message short. But I wanted to tell you guys that life offers us opportunities. Life offers us lessons and blessings and stuff. Don't look at life as a, as a, as a, ah, oh, man, I got to do this again. I look at it as, all right, here we go. We get to do this again. Let's do it right this time. That's how I look at life, and that's how I look at each day, and today has not been very good. I've had a couple of big hurdles this morning to get over. I'm an emotional person. I like to be front and center and all in all the time, and my emotions are no different. When my landlord, for instance, says that we can't have our pets outside anymore, I'm like, what's going on? And I got to figure it out. So maybe it's time for a change. So me and my family are looking to change. We're going to get up and out of this little small house and we're going to move on to the next chapter in our life. So I need your prayers. I need your prayers for protection, for for finances. I need to go out and find a job in my field of study, which I'm so excited about because I'm going to go out and help people in recovery. So prayers, protection, finances, uh, love, kindness, support. You guys give it to me all the time. I'm here to give it to you in this messages. So hey, if you need something, reach out and uh, but God bless you guys. Love ya.